I was actually a graduate out of uh, in technology in IT. Um, I used to program in the old IBM mainframe days. I just found I wasn't really good at it. Um, so I actually fell into uh, reporting uh, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I entered uh, the sphere of technology around about the time when uh, business intelligence and data warehousing became a, a term in the market. Um, it was new, um, gave me an opportunity to extend my career into something which was quite new. Um, so I, I took that path, data warehousing. So I've worked at Oracle, I've worked at uh, IBM, I've worked at uh, competing uh, professional services firms, and always found that that, that data uh, agenda um, gave me the opportunity to grow um, uh, within those career paths. So uh, it uh, probably wasn't so much education, it was real experience uh, and, and delivering uh, you know, value to the business actually um, uh, took me to where I am today. Businesses are now starting to understand that it's not just something they, they look at to see what happened yesterday, it's something they look at to what am I going to do tomorrow to survive as a business. So I think the, the sort of the biggest change for me is, is actually adopting that human element into, uh, into analytics. Um, technology is very important and will continue to be so, uh, but I think now that businesses are recognising it and really starting to ask questions that actually deliver meaningful results um, is uh, something that the, the market's starting to change now. I won't call it a project, it was a new business venture, let's put it that way, it was with the uh, professional cycling uh, tour, the Tour of Italy, the Tour of France. So EY was involved with actually developing the devices that sat on the back of the, the, back of the bike. So there's a lot of data floating around the bike, there's heart rate, there's uh, the speed of uh, the pedalling, there's uh, the GPS locations, there's the speed. If you think about data in terms of changing the ecosystem and, and creating new money where it doesn't exist today, that's really the, the, the power and the benefit of, uh, of data. And to do that from a passion of mine, which is cycling, is even more enjoyable. Uh, so, uh, but it's I, I use that story a lot because people don't actually associate EY with actually being able to sit inside a, a room full of engineers designing devices, but that's what we had to do. You've got to start your life in data analytics be, being very technically proficient and technically competent. But that's not what your life is really going to be all about. Um, I think learn your tools, learn your trade but learn how to speak business, and learn how to speak business right. You know, the day you step out of university, or the day you start your professional career in data analytics, make it about the value that's going to be derived by investing your time and energy into analytic outcomes. Don't make it about the science project. There's plenty of, you can, you can really occupy yourself completely, but if you're not delivering value at the other end, then you know, there's uh, not always a great sense of purpose around uh, what you do. 